Hey there, this is John from mysolarhome.us. I'm a solar professional, been doing this for 10 years. My videos are primarily educational. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just trying to give you the best information to help you make the best decision when you buy solar. I think solar is wonderful. It's got a lot of benefits, but there is so much of misinformation around solar that I thought this video, I'll take care of some of these uh, six of the top solar myths that I keep seeing. Number one is that solar is somehow free. Obviously, it's not. Number two, that all of solar is scammy, that there are scams all over the place. Number three, that solar, you can get solar, sell solar power, electric power from your panels and make a lot of money. Number four is about solar causing leaks in your roof, causing damage to your roof. Number five, about solar panels being heavy and not really being good for your home. And number six is that solar panels are prone to fire, they heat up, and they're not good for your roof. So let's start with free solar. And as you must have guessed, there is no free solar, there are no free lunches. So even though free solar doesn't work, there are options where you can pay very little or nothing out of pocket and start saving money immediately. That's right. With solar, you can potentially put money into your pocket every month from day one. If you want to know how, check out a video on my channel on finance solar. One of the best options of going solar is to finance the system, take a loan from a bank or take a loan from the solar company, get the solar on your roof, and you'll end up saving a lot of money. And it's the best version of the so-called free solar available. So solar myth number two is about solar being a scam. Now this one has got some truth to it. There are a lot of solar companies who are trying to sell you versions of solar which I'm, in my opinion are really scammy. Solar leases, most of them are a very bad deal. It's not that all solar leases are bad, but if you're going to choose a solar lease or a PPA, you got to keep track of a few things. I have another video on my channel which goes into it in great detail, but in really simple terms, you've got to make sure that this, that the amount you're paying for the solar lease is significantly lower than your electric bill. And you have to do that calculation yourself. Do not rely on the solar company to show you savings. All solar companies, when they show savings, it doesn't matter whether it's a lease PPA purchase, they tend to exaggerate the savings. I have videos on my channel which tell you how many solar panels you will need, how much you can save on solar. Do all the math yourself. If you do the math yourself, you can get a really good deal on a solar lease as well. Usually, if you purchase or finance your solar system, you will get savings even if you don't get the best of deals. So those are much safer option. Now, number three is a lot of people believe that if you put solar panels on your roof, you'll be able to generate a lot of power, sell it back to the grid and make money. This is completely wrong. What happens is when you put solar panels on your roof, number one, the power company or the utility company really doesn't let you put more panels than you need. That means if you're using, let's say 10,000 units of power a year, you can only put up enough panels that will produce 10,000 units of power. You cannot put in double the number of panels and make 20,000 units of power and sell the extra 10,000 back to the power company. There are some ways and means of doing this. You can put in some extra panels. There are some companies which can help you. You got to ask them, maybe instead of 10,000, they'll let you put up panels which get you to 12,000 or 13,000. You know, you might have a plan to buy a Tesla in the future, so it's better to get some extra panels in now, so it's possible, but you've got to ask for it. Producing excess power to sell to the grid is a very bad idea. And the reason is the solar comp that the utility companies really don't pay you much for the power that you generate and sell to them. When the utility company sells you power, it sells you at a certain price, let's say 17 cents per kilowatt hour. 15 cents per kilowatt hour. But God forbid if your solar system makes more power than you need and you're going to sell it back to the utility company, they'll buy it from you at about 3 cents or 2 cents a kilowatt hour. That's right. They sell it to you at 17 and they buy it back from you at 2 or 3 cents. 
So you end up making no money whatsoever if you sell power back to the grid. In fact, it's a really bad idea to oversize your system to make more power to sell to the grid. If you make more power than you need, best to use it. Splurge it on your pool heating, splurge it on your electric charging. Do not give it back to the utility company. So putting a lot of panels on your roof, even if you have a large roof, bad idea. Now you've seen some, you know, some farms, etc., which have large number of panels and they sell to the grid. That's a completely different deal. Doesn't apply to homeowners like you who plan to put panels on your roof. For you, it's a bad idea. Now let's get to the myths about your roof and solar. A lot of people think that if you put solar in your roof, it's going to cause leaks and it's going to cause structural damage to your roof. So number one, a well installed solar system is not going to leak in a hundred years. And the reason is simple. Solar panels are installed on your roof. The installation system involves putting rackings and rackings are like railway tracks. They go up on your roof. The racking is connected to your roof using specialized flashed footings. We use this to attach those racks to your rafters. Now these attachments are extremely well engineered. They're engineered so that any water which falls in them flows away from the from where the screw goes in. They've got three layers of vacuum sealing, so it's next to impossible for anything to go through them, leak through them. And they're large, they're like made of stainless steel, a foot by foot across for a small single hole. If it's well installed, your flashing and your solar system mounting is not gonna leak for 40, 50 years, for maybe even 100 years. There are not too many fly-by-night solar operators, so you, you if your installation company is decent, a roof leak is next to impossible. The fifth myth about solar is about panels being really heavy, causing a structural load on your roof and causing long, long term problems. Funnily enough, solar panels are actually pretty light. They look big, but the whole unit weighs about 50 pounds or so. And when you place it flat on your roof, the actual load on your roof is so little, it's, it's less than a small child walking on your roof. When we install solar panels, the townships, they ask us for structural drawings. They're not asking us for structural drawings to see if your roof can support the solar panels. They're more worried about wind or a hurricane coming and blowing the panels off your roof. There is no question of solar causing damage or structural damage to your roof. They're too light. In the Northeast and in the Northern States, for example, Solar panels have a load of snowfall on them. The actual weight of the panels is so little that the engineering drawings do not even talk about the weight and the load that they put in your roof. They're more about lift and so that the panels don't get blown over. The sixth and final myth is that solar panels are prone to fire, they heat up and they're not good for your roof. Now the entire process of solar panels making power is inert. It's just that it's a special photoelectric material, silicon, which is there in your panels, which causes electricity to be formed when sunlight falls on them. Something which Mr. Albert Einstein gave us a long time back, or rather he discovered and he theorized a long term back. So the panels themselves are completely inert. Silicon is basically sand, so it's totally inert. The glass is inert. The outer layers, aluminum, corrosion resistant, unlikely to catch fire. Most of the stories you might have heard of are stories which happen in large warehouses where they have thousands of panels where they probably did not do a good job in designing. When you have a lot of panels, there's a lot of power being generated. They go through wires. Those wires, if they're not properly designed on capacity, they could heat up and cause problems. The panels actually never catch fire. It's the electrical wiring which could potentially catch fire but it never does in a residential home the power produced by residential home solar panels is too little it's only if there's a major short circuit that you could have a fire and we haven't had one in a residential installation that i have heard of in the last 20 years solar is fabulous i think anybody who has a good roof facing the south or the east or the west should go for solar Watch my channel. There are a lot of videos about different aspects of solar and how to make sure you buy the best solar panels at the best prices so that you get the most benefit. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day.